What is going on guys? Today we have a comparison video of two amazing devices, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and the OnePlus One. Now both devices have very similar builds, both internally and externally. But let's get into the details to find out which device has an edge over the other. So both devices were released this year as flagship models, both have very solid build quality and sleekness. The OnePlus One is 8.9mm thick, whereas the Note 4 is slightly thinner at 8.5mm. At the back, Samsung has decided to stick with the plastic cover with a leather finish that we also saw in the Note 3. The OnePlus One has taken a very unique approach by using a very soft sandstone finish which in my opinion feels really good to hold in hand. In terms of height, both devices are pretty much the same, but the Note 4 is slightly wider, which is because it has a 5.7 inch display compared to the 5.5 inch display on the OnePlus One. Now when it comes to device specs, the Galaxy Note 4 clearly has an advantage over the OnePlus One, with its better CPU and GPU, along with a slightly larger battery capacity, and the ability to expand storage. One of the most important features of any smartphone is the camera. The OnePlus One has a 13 megapixel camera that records video in 4K. The Note 4 has a 16 megapixel camera that also records in 4K and has optical image stabilization, which will really give you some nice, clean, and sharp images. Personally, I found the OnePlus One to take pictures with too many shadows and dark spots although it captured the colors much better than the Note 4. The Note 4 just amazed me with the clarity and crispness in the images captured with this camera. It really has much more details than the OnePlus One. Now both devices come with the latest Android 4.4.4, which is KitKat, but the OnePlus One has an extra trick up its sleeve. It's the Cyanogen mod. Now, if you're unfamiliar with CyanogenMod, it's basically a custom version of Android that gives you access to a lot more features and control over your phone. You have the freedom to add your own themes to make your OS look completely different, especially if you're someone like me and you get bored of your phone too fast. The OnePlus One comes with capacitive buttons at the bottom, but one of my favorite features of the CyanogenMod is that I can also activate on-screen buttons like the one we see on the Google Nexus smartphones. But of course, there is something that makes the Note 4 unique as well. That is the S Pen, which gives you a very different form of control to your phone. I like the fact that the S Pen lets me make my Note 4 more into a tablet when I want it to be. It's pretty convenient to use it for things like occasional note taking or cropped screenshots. Another great feature in the Note 4 that's not in the OnePlus One is multitasking. You can just use your S Pen to drag a top corner of an app and just have multiple apps open at the same time on just one screen. I really wish all smartphones had this feature because I really hate closing in and out of apps. It just makes the process annoying and tedious. But this multitasking feature just really makes my life a lot easier. Now something that the OnePlus One has an advantage over the Note 4, which I wish Samsung could have improved upon, is the volume. For comparison, here's a test video, so let me know which device sounds better by posting a comment below. Now the best part about the OnePlus One is that it's only $299, whereas the Note 4 can go upwards of $800 if you buy it without a contract. So let me know which device you guys prefer and why by leaving a comment below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, just make sure to hit the like button and subscribe as well.